We've been in our home now for, for over two years. August 21st of uh, 2020, we were housed. Family promise was awesome. You know how hard it was for me and China to get into a place? We tried everywhere, churches, uh, you name it. Nobody accommodated a man and a female child. They provided everything a person could need. I mean, including love. When most people think of homelessness, they've got this image in their mind of a single, usually man, on the street corner uh, holding a sign. They don't think of families, they don't think of children, but families represent 36% of the homeless that we have here in Spokane. So it's hard to track families because they aren't like the other types of homeless. They're hidden, they're called the hidden homeless. They're sleeping in cars or couch surfing or staying at motels, moving around quite a bit. But from what we can tell, every year there's over 3,000 homeless students, kindergarten through 12th grade. Our goal here is to end family homelessness. And so we exclusively work with families that are caring for minor children that are about to experience homelessness, are experiencing homelessness, or who have just left homelessness. Homelessness is that one interlinking section with healthcare issues, with mental health, with substance abuse, with education, transportation, employment. Housing is a critical feature to all of those other areas. And when you don't have out housing, all of those other areas get worse. Family problems, it had me housed within three, four months in the middle of the pandemic, come on. Nothing was, nothing was moving, but these people were moving. You know, they were hustling. They were doing what they had to do to get people housed. You know, helped so many families 